Hello and welcome to the Diet Dr. Pepper series here again. Today we are in Iowa for Iowa Speedway. One of uh, the unique tracks on this schedule. Uh, we have created the schedule so as not to have... Or I guess Gavin created the schedule, not everybody. But uh, Gavin created the schedule so that we didn't have repeats. And so we filled in some of the spots with tracks that are probably going to be pretty fun, but didn't exist on the schedule of the era. Iowa is one of those tracks. And I believe it was voted on as well. Um, I think this is the one that people voted on, and uh, the result was Iowa, and so here we are. I think this should be really fun. I um, don't know how well I'm going to do at Iowa. Kind of had mixed results here in the past, and this is my first time with this combo specifically. First things first, we got to try to do a good qualifying run. Interesting. The track feels pretty slick. So I think once the tires are warmed up here, we should have a better lap too, hopefully. Oh, uh, very slidey right there. Ah, uh, that's about the best I can do. 380. I'll take it. Figured the second lap would be better once the tires were up to temp. Alright, so right now that's P1. Feeling pretty good. Did I? Okay, we're good. Right now the only one in the threes, but there's still time. Track felt a little bit different. First it felt maybe like, uh... yeah, I think it was a little looser out here. I was definitely feeling like it was wanting to try to get sideways. Yep, my Layton says, uh... Fresh track. I'm not sure if he had it set up to where it was, uh. Oh wow, it's cooler. Yeah, it was probably the fresh track then. Um, no rubber. Out here, we set the track state, so that's probably what that was all about. I'm gonna do a uh, practice pit in here. Rick says a nice slap. Thank you to him. Send him a good luck here in a moment after I do a practice pit in. I keep speeding on entry here, and it's for the dumbest reason. I keep looking at 45 miles per hour, and I'm like, yeah, that's good. Oh, be quiet. Your lap times will be deleted until you reset the car Qualifying scrutiny yelling at me. Um... I think this could be fun. Right now, it looks like we've got the pole. A couple more people could still be going. Like Chuck, he could definitely come get it. Jake as well has been pretty fast before. Looking at the tires, I don't know how I'm going to save tires in this one. I guess we're going to run... Um, I don't know what to do, to be honest. I think I'm going to just run, like, the qualifying line, but just obviously not as hard. Because I really don't know what to do with tires. I'll back it down. And then just run the good line. <laughs> the good line, quote-unquote. 
and just see what happens and then maybe adjust if I need to. I don't really know how else I'm going to save tires though. I mean, you could say like, oh, just run the bottom on both ends of the track, but I'm not so sure it's not going to be the right rear that's going to be giving us trouble. So we'll do uh, low side one and two, that higher line three and four, and then just as we need to. All right, pole position. So we'll, we'll do warm up. I'm going to see how many laps of fuel we have. 190 laps. So long race in those terms. It looks like about 68 to 70 laps on fuel. So I'm going to get out my calculator. Beep, beep, boop, boop, bop. Track dropped another 8 degrees from quality. That's actually interesting to, to listen to, to hear about. Evening race. So it's going to be a night race by the time we leave. Okay. I'm clear. So, okay. 90, 190 lap race, not a 90 lap race. Mic check. 68. I'm clear. So we'll do 190. Thank you, sir. Divided by. Mic check. No mics here. We don't have any mics in here? That's a common enough name to think we'd get one. No mics, really? Unbelievable. <laughs> here, I'm getting distracted. Uh, let's see. 70. If we if we take it to 70. Man, that bump at the top of two will kick your butt. Yeah. You definitely don't want to run the high line at Iowa in one and two. That is something you learn once. <laughs> I mean, you can get away with it sometimes, but it's rolling some dice that's not going to just bounce you right over the outside wall and into a ditch somewhere. It's just a mountain. So, this is interesting. For the fuel. We can't quite divide it in half. Which I wouldn't expect to erase this long. So yeah, I guess dead. we're gonna do 190 divided by 3. That's about 63 laps. So I guess we'll come in about lap 64, maybe. 64, 65, I think, is what we'll be planning on doing for strategy. And while we're waiting, I will bring up the league standings. So you have an idea of what things are looking like before we start out here. Got another 30 seconds before the session starts up. And, uh, you know, good to know the situation as we head into the next race of the Diet Dr. Pepper series. It should pop up here in just a moment. Checking OBS to make sure that is true. Come on. Is it there? No? Oh, it's because I have to click this first. There we go. Okay. So, right now we are leading in the points, but only by five points. That's just, that's as simple as, like, some bonus points of a difference right now. So, not comfortable by any means. Gavin, being very consistent and uh, doing what you need to do in these types of point systems. Right there on our tail. And we gotta try to have another good run to here today. And, uh, Ian's coming up closer and closer as well. He's just under 1,600 points. And with a good day, he can make a big chunk, take a big chunk out of uh, us up ahead as well. So, just wanted to give a look at that before we get started here. And it is time to grid. Here I am trying to miss the grid. <laughs> Whatever. It is time to go. So, double check all my stuff. Get in the car. Hopefully not... Hopefully everyone's not waiting for me. I think we still had some people getting ready. The estimated strength of Got some updated spotter info. Session last lap. Keep it clean. The DNF today would hurt our point. Well, tomorrow. I'm dragging that is true. the uh, I-rating average down in this group. Interesting that it didn't like say uh, estimated SOF. Instead, it told me like, "Oh, it'll hurt your hurt your points," which is kind of funny. I've never heard that call before. I know, that's depressing intel. I guess it recognizes we're in a league race. Five sets of tires is plenty, I think. 
I don't even race official anymore, to be honest with you. I just practice and try to run this stuff. It's just so frustrating. I got to agree with that. Yeah, this car and I just, uh, we just don't like each other. Official's a little scarier yeah, when you go from a group of guys you know here. and are comfortable racing around, and then all of a sudden you're in the unknown wilderness. <laughs> what gear are we starting in? Better now. Is that Lincoln bad? Second gear, go. it looks like. By. I didn't see anything. Looks like second gear. It's telling me to let you buy, though. Are you coming up? And John on our yeah, outside, Mitch is going to be on our rear. I can get over here. What's the pace speed? 50? I think it's 50. So we'll do second gear. I didn't really shift into first to check, but I think it's probably going to be second gear. And be careful of uh, spinning the tires up as we get started here. Okay, Colt, I'm ready. ready. Watch for the lights. Let's go. Green, green, green. Oh, it's very loose. We'll get the run off. Just gonna try to be smooth. Gotta find out. We gotta get out of here. I think that's all I can really do. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my tires. Try to be smooth on my inputs, both braking, letting off. I guess I can be slower, you guys all going by me while I'm sitting on the road. I'm just going to my outside. I wasn't expecting him to be out there. Kind of threw me off a little bit. Sure that I'm not drifting up into his lane too much. Inside. Still there, inside. Stay high with the car on the low side. Still I think there. he wants the track position. I'm getting that impression. He's trying to put me up into the bumpy bumps. Survive that. I really don't want to give up the track position in case it ends up being very difficult to pass later, which is a thing that can definitely happen in Iowa. I feel like I'm hurting my right rear too much right now, though. I'd like to back it down. So I'm kind of stuck in between wanting to uh, take it easier and not really wanting to give up the lead. Uh-oh. Discontinuity. Is my internet being bad? Right now I only see a tiny little green sliver, so I guess it's not too bad, I hope. Mitch getting a big run here. Trying to keep it smooth. Feels like I'm racing Kevin Harvick. Got that 29 races. It's not really uh, making it easy on me. I'm kind of 
just running the line I want to anyway, though, with the exception of turns one and two. So I kind of wanted to be up high in three and four anyway. I'm going to fall. Darn curved front stretch here. It's just me being dumb and getting too close to the wall. Hopefully I don't think it hurt much. I keep kind of close to that seam. I can kind of avoid getting into the bumps too bad. We've been side by side pretty much this whole race so far. New leader. Mitch will lead the last lap, maybe? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. Finally, a little bit time to breathe. Go back to the bottom in one and two now that we can. See, that's just a tiny bit faster when you can go lower. We're through 13 here. That was a taxing 13 laps, I'll tell you what. It's really putting the pressure on me. Kind of like uh, Dover. It happened at the start of Dover as well. It's pressuring me hard early. Starting to feel a little tighter. Still holding on to the position. Making sure I get on the brakes enough. Remember how fast we're going in the Gen 4. Which means you gotta get slowed down if you wanna make the corners. I'm hoping that uh, Mitch trying to get around us is hurting his tires worse than I'm hurting mine by driving a little bit harder to try to avoid giving him the track position. We'll see though. See how that turns out. I think I might want to get on my right rear more. I'm apprehensive about doing so because I feel like... Uh, could regret that later. But I also want to make sure the right sides are balanced as much as possible. Tracy's coming up. Looks like he's trying to get around Mitch at the moment. Which has he been able to save? How much will it matter if he can't get around him because passing's too hard? Let's see. Rear tires are feeling okay still. It's tighter on entry. Rear tires are feeling okay still. I can change. For now, I'm happy with it. Only 20 laps in, though. I remember that. It's going to be a long race. Uh, 
Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. That was a 24.4. Still not feeling too bad. I think uh, I just gotta remember to be smooth. Yep, yeah, really sideways at a two. I think I prefer to keep it more stable than that. Mitch really fell off all of a sudden. I'm not sure what happened back there. I wasn't looking. It's now Tracy behind us. He hasn't been having to battle, so he might have some very good tires coming up our way. Watch out for that. Still green so far, which would be surprising in any other context except the Diet Dr. Pepper series, because this series has just been fantastic racing pretty much the whole time. There was a Daytona we don't talk about, <laughs> but other than that, pretty fantastic racing just pretty much the whole time. Mitch has fallen off hard all of a sudden. It's already a second and a half back. Tracy had a rough week last week at Dover. He gave himself the uh, EOL penalty to start the race. And I think he had some issue where his auto fuel didn't work properly during a pit stop and just ruined his race. He had to do some alternative strategy type stuff in order to try to combat that thing that happened with the auto fuel, and I think it just never worked out for him. But he's back up here, up front, this week. He's breathing down my neck. Catching up little by little at the moment. Water felt pretty good. Felt like I stuck it pretty well. There might be something to getting near that seam. Just kind of uh, getting on it just right. Sure. Your last lap time was at 24.5. Makes he's on his way. It's going to be tough for him to get around me, though. He might have to do like a slide job in order to get it done. I know he's not going to be shy about doing that if he feels it's necessary. I might have to be ready to do a crossover. That was at 24.6. No. No, I think he's faster right now. I don't really necessarily want to give it up to him. I want to make him work for it so he has to use his tires and can't just walk away once he gets around. And, uh, his advantage doesn't seem too strong. I think he's got slightly better long run speed right now. But not enough that uh, I don't want to just give it to him without a fight. We've got space behind all the way to third as well. So we have some time to use up. Make him, uh, make him have to get it done. He drove it in hard there. Made me think that I underdrove it for a second. I think I drove it about the same though. Drove three and four there though. You've just done a twenty-four point seven.
think we might be coming up on lap traffic here. Starting to see it on the horizon. I gotta be braver on it the exit of four. There's grip my tires are willing to give me exiting four and I'm not going for it. That is in contrast to turn two, which does not want to give me grip. John in third now. Tracy getting alongside us. Tight. Got to be careful here. Terran 2 is killing me, man. Can't quite get that right. Four. It's right there on me. I think he tried higher line, maybe in one two that time. So I get out of my peripheral anyway. Almost uh. Better three and four. I think I gotta get lower, so I think maybe that's part of what's hurting me. Ugh, that's terrible. Went wide. Too much throttle there. Lit up my rear tires. Be honest, that last lap I didn't take the close side on one and two because I just straight up forgot. I just took the uh, high side for no reason. I just like forgot what side of the track I was on. Clear inside. Thinks he gets around. It's all right. I don't think there's any reason to fight him for it right now. I think he's got it from here. Okay, Colton, you've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. Still quite a while before we pit. Your last lap time was at twenty four point nine. I think battling Mitch early on baited me into driving harder than I wanted to. I 
I think that's contributing to me having less good tires at the moment. John's on his way to me. Presumably having had a uh, smoother run. I've run better on the tires so far. Basically, now that he's buying me, though, you can see driving away. He's definitely got the better car at the moment. Man, when I get that seam and I hit that just right, such a better turn. I wish I could just perfectly hit that every time, but that's not as easy it is as uh, to do as it is to say. Easier said than done is the way people no normally say that. Finally catching that lap traffic. Took longer than I thought. The gap to Edda ahead is now 0.8. Gonna be tough as a lap car to know which side of the track to go to since you can run so many different places here at Iowa. Look, there's going to go low. And now he's going to go high. Middle? Middle? I guess. Good consistency. Keep him coming. Okay, we're catching him. It's gonna go low for us. Appreciate it. Car is tight, so I think uh, once we get to the next run, I'll probably push it a little harder on the exits. Throttle wise, I'm not too upset with how the car is feeling right now, though. I feel like we done we've done a good enough job. We're in P2 after all. Sun's going down, which could actually mean the track gets tighter, which gives me even more reason to try to get it on the right rear more. John's coming up on us though. He's only a second behind. Time was twenty-four point nine. Oh, whoa! Almost counter steered myself into the wall there. That was a little scary. That last lap was a twenty-four point nine. Just not do that. Oh, it's getting tight. See, it's uh, much shadier on the track now. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Got a tire span ahead and out of that corner. So I guess we come in about lap 64. Okay, That's about whenever we decide to pull the trigger on that. Oh my god, where am I going? The 
lights just came on, I believe is what that graphical oddity was right there. So it is officially night time in Sim. Oh, we got some people that pit already. Alright. E30 gonna go low. Around us. I keep overdriving turn three. That time was because I was looking ahead of me. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Terrible into the corner because of that happening. Lost us a couple tenths. That's pretty early to have pit. He pit lap 49. Feels early to me. Be interesting to see how that works out for him. Gonna be going around Tracy now soon. The gap to Sass behind is now 0.7. The lap time was at 24.8. John's gonna catch me before it's time to pit. He's getting pretty close. Falling off pretty hard. See pretty close to the wall up there. I prefer keeping it near the scene. I think that works for me. Your last lap time was at twenty-four point nine. Just gonna go ahead and do it. Get it to 40, not 45. That was a pretty slow entry, but I kept speeding in practice, so I guess I'd prefer to do this and be a little gentler. Fuel and tires. Give me all of it. I'm going to be farthest pit stall up here. Alright, got it stopped. Alright, 5462, we'll share that. That kind of lines up with uh, what I was feeling. I'd like to be on the right rear more. That's it, go! There's traffic behind. Only one pitting. The car behind is pitting. The leader's pitting now. Sass is now leading. Outside. Gotta yeah, be really careful on these cold tires. Pitting in, pitting in. Where will we cycle out? Ah, someone wrecked it while pitting. Gotta be kidding me. I assume that's what happened. At least we're on fresh tires. It's not what we wanted, though. Trusted you guys, man. <laughs> we have so many good uh, green flag runs. Well, I was already headed into the pits, and so I got it entering a closed pit. Ah, uh, that's terrible luck for Alan. He's got some bad luck. It seems like. Hate to see that for him. Well, this is going to be interesting where we all line up. I really don't know where we're going to line up. We're going to get a wave around, I guess. <sighs> sucks.
Next plan stops about 1.30, I suppose. Pete Road is now open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Man, we lost so much from that. That sucks. I'm going to be back in the field now. That's all right. We'll just try to get it back as much as we can. Oh, some people are pitting. Okay, interesting. They were out too long. That's That makes sense. They were out on their tires long enough. They want to come back and get some more tires. Ours are fresh, though. Not as fresh as the two guys ahead, unfortunately, but... Getting the wave around. We'll be behind Tracy and Mitch. And then we got the guys ahead and pit yet. Gonna be ahead of us. So we're gonna be pretty far back, unfortunately. We'll see how it cycles out though. It's still gotta figure out exactly where we're going. I don't think it's I don't think we're in twentieth because we just passed those guys that pit. I don't know if it updated after they did that yet. wonder what happened for the caution. My assumption was a pit-related accident, just considering the timing. So not quite halfway yet. We get our first caution. Good run to start with. Still, got to remember to be thankful that we can even make it that far. Matthew, I don't think iRacing knows what it wants to do here. Pits are open. When does iRacing ever know what it wants to do? I wonder if we've got some glitchy stuff going on. Yeah, I was, uh, I was probably two feet from being in the pits when the yellow flag come out and now it's put at having everybody pass me like twice. One left to Grand Cross coming out this Pass the paid car. Get yeah, I got caught so I'm on the EOL, but there's folks behind me too. Hey, getting caught up. Don't want to use my tires too much, so Back it down a little bit. Just get in the line here. I'll clear it after we take the green. I don't know. That, that pitting with the yellow coming out there almost causing big issues with the scoring, it seems. That's the truth. Yeah, we're all the way back in freaking 18th. Ugh. That sucks. If only I'd stayed out a couple more laps, but I mean, there's no way you can predict anything like that. Checked up here, Cordian. Why are we so slow? Quiet down, what are you doing? You gotta go. Go ahead, guys. Yeah, it's a little late now. This sucks, we need another caution now. We're like a whole well, half the track away. P17. That's a pretty terrible restart. The field was going and we were just sitting there for so long. We have no chance unless a caution comes out at this point, so I'm going to be extra nice to my tires. There's a caution right there. Eight by. We think that's sure. Looks like we might have had like multiple people sideways there. P 
Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car 58. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Okay, gotta have the 58 by. Okay, now we're good. What people we got behind us? Not enough. I don't want to just give it all away by pitting. Tires are still pretty fresh, so I have to think about that too much. Hopefully we get ourselves a better restart this time, because the last one was not great. Lap car going to the back, the 58 pitting. It's Frank. There's more people behind us pitting. I guess we'll add a couple laps to our 130 estimated total. And to pit again. We're 16th. A long way to go still to get back to where we were. That's going to be tough here, though. Place that passing can be difficult especially on the older tires, so I kind of like to get moving early. But we're going to have to have a good restart in order to have any chance at that. That caution put us in a really bad spot. Going from P2 to P16 and then a tire disadvantage, although slight, to the guys in front of us and some guys behind us for that matter, Nick, back there in lap 77 tires. Is that not two to green? Come on, let's go. Wasting laps. These are laps we should be using to pass people. I don't wish I had pit there. I was surprised how many people pit behind us. Even though our tires aren't old, we have plenty back there so it could have been nice to come in and get some more Four course yellow pits are open oh these are all that cars, okay. I was confused for a second. I thought it was having us pass people like they were on our lap. I'm like, what is happening? No, I didn't realize there was such a large uh, group of uh, lap down guys right there. I need my internet to behave. It's getting weird up there again. Finally, we'll be one to green. Coming up. We got some work to do. Well, Rick, looks like you and I are racing for 25th. And a lucky dog here. Oh, I forgot about that part. Left to green. Okay, Colton, get ready. <laughs> Race will resume at the end of this lap. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. I'll just, I'll have it this time, next time. <laughs> You can have it. No, you can have it. No, you can have it. We we get bunched up here. There's a big gap between Sterling Marlin up there and the next yeah, guy. Yeah, well, these guys tend to be great if we were to run the rest of the race closer. Yellow, so. That's like ten car lengths back, and we're about to go green. Yeah, that's the bad part. Yeah, that's usually how it is. Wait it's waiting for the last out. second like that that causes these accordions. Get ready, going green. I'll go low, guys. You can go around. Yeah, we're going. Kind of. Maybe not. Is that still accordion effect? I thought we were going. Weird. P16 
Oof. Copy down there. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Outside. I'm coming in 21, I got a bit of Still there. Still there. Still there, hold your line. We're matching race pace. V14. You're on the bottom, three wide. Oh, we're I did not want to be three wide. I didn't realize we were even close to that. Car outside, two wide. Still there, hold your line. Keep low. Car in front is clear. Car outside. Okay, got that figured out. That was a 23.2 on the bottom, three wide. Still hold. Don't want to be three wide still, but it's still happening. Still there. Still there. Alright, finally clear. And a yellow. It's the 15 that's gonna let us back. There you go, Rick. Whew. I'm shot. Yellow's going crazy all of a sudden. We're under caution. It's closed. Now I got Chad going to be hounding me back here for the next one. That got dicey. Pit road's open. Check up open. here. Hopefully everybody paying attention. Got some more people heading in though. Nick's going back in. How is it we're doing 37 miles an hour back here? Kind of wish I did now, because look, we got so many people. Although there's some more people back there the that we would end up behind potentially, so. We're up to P13 now. Just, I don't want to put myself back there too far, because with these single file restarts, you lose so much time. I'm just, I'm worried about putting myself back there even further. It's are open. And I don't feel like we had very many laps on these tires, so. Pitting? Okay, there's another spot forward. Sides is going to go to the back. So we're P12 then. Likely these cautions are about one lap too long. I feel like we could go two to green right now. Maybe I'm just being impatient. Got a bit messy all of a sudden. I guess maybe guys on older tires, or maybe even because guys are on a different right, levels of tires. Right here. Yes, very poor. Full course yellow. Pits are open. I'm not getting that, but I'm getting some weird engine noises in 3 and 4. Hmm. So still not quite halfway. For all that we've been through already, already, are still not even halfway. Need to get to lap 95 for that. Through lap 95, that is. So we're close. 
E10. We had some other people pit. Okay. Feeling a little bit better about the track position we're getting back all of a sudden. Frank, gotta go around. Making our way forward. Little by little. I race and confused. It says, let Rick by. And then it's like, you pass Rick now. Yeah, I knew that was going to come back. I was like, oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> one to go. All right, one on the green. Line. Get ready. Race and resume at the end of this lap. Let's be careful on the restarts. We get another green run in, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully we get another good green run in. I don't think it's been the restart necessarily. I don't think it's like people spinning up the tires on the restarts, but it seems like uh, everyone being bunched back together has caused a couple of issues. The green, uh, long, a long green run would be great. Sun's going down. Those are my bedtime. See the leader up there for once? Go. Green flag, green flag. You're in the top ten. Inside, you're up top three wide. Right hand eyes are too wide. Stay high. Stay high. Still there, inside. Okay, Colton. The next car is Taylor. Keep high. Okay. A little risky there, but... Gotta pass early at the Clear Iowa. Ahead. It's just the truth. Clear inside. Easier to pass now than it will be later when the tires are older. Car inside. Not want to be on his outside Clear there, ahead. but it just happened. Scary moments here. Seventh position. Seven. That definitely feels different now that the sun has gone down. Trying to get more on the right rear, but not that much. Gavin almost in the wall. Doing a good job. Keep it nice and smooth. Let me get some damage. Outside, like me. Lemons, B7. Keep low. Coming up on halfway here. Clear outside. Go past him low. I don't know if let us by or if uh had enough momentum there to get that done. Getting more slidey on exit than I was earlier, so I think I gotta be more careful with that.
things in that middle line. Get some good speed mid corner from that. Six. Ian in the lead, it looks like. See, trying to pass Andrew low. He will get it. No, not quite. I was going to say he gets it done, but he's not able to clear him. Gets such a run off the high side here. Iowa. It's deceiving. Another yellow. We're going to be pitting this time. Use those tires enough to need another set. Thanks for the uh, getting into the wall there, Chad. You saved me. Oh, careful in turn two. Oh, oh man, what happened? Pit road's open. Might have been a bad shift or something. I really don't know what to say about that. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. That was weird. Don maybe accidentally got in the back of him. The leader, club, is pitting. Look out for the pit speed limit. We'll need to stop again. Gonna be all the way at the end, so we'll be on the outside of guys, I think. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Good stop. Ninety-one, ninety-one. We'll share since other people are. We didn't even really use them that much. Move it, move it. Line up, single file. Nick from 11th. Did he take two? What did he do? Might have taken two or no tires. That's interesting. 70 laps of fuel. Cool. We are definitely short still. Oh, your rear end damage? Uh, you got a little bit of crinkle on the left rear, but I think you'll be okay. All right, I don't know what happened to Ian. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, man. I mean, I I don't exactly know why that happened, but I was on the brakes as hard as I could be at the end there, and it just wasn't enough. So, huh. just caught me off guard. Yeah, no worse. Nick's brave. I know he pit not too long ago before then, because he came in. One of those other times we didn't come in. So his tires might not be so bad on the left side. We were 98s, and his tires were newer, so they might be okay. It might have been a smart call. Gotta watch out for him to be loose, though. Back, you go to tap the gas, and they start doing the pit stop. Yeah, they're real particular. You can't be a millimeter too far back or they'll yell at you. <laughs> they should at least change, like, do the pit stop, and then if you're too far outside the box, give you, like, a end of the long climb penalty for pitting outside the box, not make you have to wait. Uh, technically, pitting outside the box is a one-lap penalty. 
That sounds. Ah, <laughs> uh, we definitely don't want that. Yeah, I'll drive forward the mo the millimeter. Thanks. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah, if it's that hard, it's probably better just to pull up a little bit. <laughs> You're gonna be too far back and too far forward. I have enough trouble following pit instructions, apparently. Full course yellow, pits are open. <laughs> okay, so we are P. What's this, eighth? Counting correctly? No, we got some wave runners. We're P6. Okay, we're in a pretty good spot. Nick ahead on two tires. Mitch and Tracy up there. We're gonna have to pit again. So we can't make it quite yet. I think 148 we think about coming into pit and running it to the end. They're checking up and uh, exited too. I guess that's about right. Is that right? I don't think that's right. 150, maybe. <laughs> Making the right gear. A little bit of a lackluster jump, but that's alright. Tough to pass Keep Nick low. if he's hanging on to the outside. You're in fear. Stay low. Still there. Clear outside. I think we try to get to his outside. Leaves us the lane. No! He gets it back. Gosh dang it. Here we go with the fuel mileage again, maybe. I'm sorry, man. I tried to slow up as much as I could. I didn't know where to go. I was trying to make sure I didn't get too much of the Definitely saving right now. Still pretty far away, but if we get another quick caution. Pit road's open. Pits are open. You pack this thing full of fuel. I still think that's a pretty tough ask to make it to the end from here. Thought about it. No, no one's doing it. Okay. Yeah, still much too far. Yeah, I was doing my math wrong. Glad I have another chance at it here. Seventy-eight. About 160, maybe, is when we come in. Is that about right? I think we go hard here. Come in about lap 60, go to the end. We're so close to that magic mark, though, where we can make it on fuel. Full course yellow, pits are open. In fact, one more quick caution might be enough. With how many pace laps we have. Billy's going in. He thinks he can make it. Assuming that's why he's coming in. 
Very curious. Forty-one gallons. Yeah, that's not correct. <laughs> I wish my race lab fuel calculator worked in league races. I don't know why it doesn't, but I definitely don't need forty-one more gallons to make it to the end. So maybe we could stretch it to about seventy laps on a full tank. One twenty is where we would need to get. We're really close. Not quite there. Pits are open. Be really cool if Billy could pull that off, though. I'm kind of rooting for him. That'd be really cool if he could make it on fuel. I'd love to see it. Assuming that's what he came in for. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Taking the apron. Shortest way around. They need to put in an option to save scuff tires. I agree. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, I just changed mine to say competitive with I'm next for Lucky Dogs, and my tires are like 95, 93. I would love to be able to put those in the in the pile. Yeah, I mean, not saying that any of us would be in that situation, but all the lower end teams I've hit for, they're always saving scuff tires. Man, we're close. It's tempting. One to go. Next time by. So one more caution, and I think is all, all we would need to try to go for it. As of right now, those 66 laps would not get us there. We'd be about a little under 10 laps short. Make sure we shift it back to second gear. Would be bad if we were not. Get ready, going green. I think leaving the lane up, interestingly. The pace car is off, be ready. Wing, 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 wing. Let's go. You're back oh. in fear. Car inside. Keep high. Keep high. Clear. So maybe he was giving it to us. Janowski is now in the lead. Seam. He plans on saving some oh. fuel. I know. Surprised he just gave that to us. The lap time was at 24.1. Okay, Colton, the next car is SAS. Oh my the god. It breaks much harder than I expected. Oh my goodness, did he get the wall on entry? It's like he slows down so much, heading into the corner. Probably just doing what's called tire saving better than me. Probably all that is. Keep low. Keep low. Light. 
dang it. Keep low. Outside is clear. Car outside. Was that? Stay low. Mess that up. Clear outside if you want it. Ah. We're top five. I think I just need to settle down a little bit. Boop. Check out what we're doing. so hard to pass. Oh man, I'm, I'm sorry too. I tried to check up in time. No, you were definitely out there. I just, I should have stayed low. That was on me. It's all good. I didn't hit anything, so I think I'll be fine. Okay, glad to hear. <sighs> that sucks. I got on the outside and he just uh, he kind of drifted up. It's like what you have to do if you want to try to keep the spot. It's mm. we can make it to the end now though, so we're definitely pitting. That sucks though. I just I got to the outside and I couldn't let that go because that's so crucial. If you're on the outside, you can make the pass. So I just went for it and uh Watch your speed. Watch your speed limit in the pits. The leader, Dronowski, is pitting. Okay. We'll need to stop again. Pit boxing ten. Five. Three, two, one, right here. Ninety five, ninety five. Fueling to the end now. Oh, it's still pretty close. Move it, move it. Line up, single Get out ahead of Tracy. Very fortunate, uh, Hit position there, as we can just accelerate right out. I catch up very gradually. Not use any fuel if we can. So we're P3 now. Man, that sucks. I hate that I ran into John. Uh, I know he, he claimed ownership on that one, but normally I'm not that aggressive if... Everybody passed me as supposed to, and then still gives me a passing on the yellow. Unbelievable. Uh, sorry, that distract. I thought that was him talking at first. Um, 
it's just with how tough it is to pass, getting on that outside was so important, and I had to be aggressive there and just keep my nose out there. Because that's essential if I wanted to get around. It just took the lane, and it just, I was there. I don't know. Should I, I should have maybe backed out earlier and harder. I'm going to look at it later, too, from a different angles. It's not what I wanted at all. Thankfully, no damage for us, and it sounds like he didn't get any damage either. Of course, it's this car, too. You can't make any contact on the bumpers, or if it just picks it up and flicks it off to the side, the car body. Most cars, that would have just been a bump draft, essentially, but you can't do that. In this car. <sighs> I never want to be involved in it, in anything. Regardless of fault. So that's a shame. But we are P3. We got fresh tires. We can make it to the end on fuel, though we might have to save just a bit. We're gonna do we're gonna be doing a little bit more coasting okay, Colton. We're through the corners. We think about Minutes of fuel remaining. So right now we got about 68. One to go. Next time by. Actually, you know what? We are good. Race cars in this lap. I'm dumb. I'm doing my math wrong again. And yeah, we're plenty fine because we've got what 59 laps. Yeah, we're fine. It's full of nonsense. I can't do math when I'm driving, man. I swear I can do basic addition and subtraction. I promise I'm capable. But when driving, maybe not. So we're fine on fuel. I don't have to save anything. There's too many things to think about. Get ready. Going green. All right. Ice car is off. Be ready. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. You're now in third. Tracy going to our inside already. Inside. The captain. Head up. Behind is now. Not one. Go high. Go high. Still there. Clear. I got a bit of a baby if you want to look. Okay, bud. Car outside. Still there. Was that twenty-four point three? Keep low. Bombs real bad. That did not work out well. Dang it, man. Outside, if you want it. Chase is fast, man. It's gonna be. It's never gonna be easy to try to. I'll run him on a short track, and this counts as a short track. <laughs> it's more of a Richmond type short track, but it's a short track. A little loose up there. He's fine though. This is tough racing. Everyone's giving it their all. Uh, it gets so sideways from that middle lane. Dang it, I was trying to see if I could get a run. Not gonna happen though. This is going for a pass. This could be an open door. Lucky. Take your Tracy down here. No, don't give it to him. Fight him. I want a way through. Car ahead is. Car outside. 
Yeah. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm taking that open door. An invitation like that is gold at Iowa. Get uh, a pass. Mitch got the advantage. Man, this thing wants to kill me out of two, still. Since we uh, we don't have any green flag pit stops to worry about anymore, I'm gonna put my brake bias all the way back. Driving with one hand, which is you know optimal. Okay, Colton. The next car is. Mitch is driving away right now. It looks like. that he has tire issues later. Different doesn't work. Gosh. Just experimenting. Right now we're not doing any sort of gaining. on what corner you're in. Kind of what I was mentioning earlier, it's tough for lap traffic. So you're not quite sure where you want to want to be. I think I hurt my tires experimenting. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that, I guess, but just feeling desperate. So I don't know what else I'm going to do to catch up to these guys. Go high line. That'll work, right? Oh my god, there's no grip up there. <laughs> that was so terrible. Car inside. Clear. Well, 
We better just hope we can hold on to third place, I think. That's about all I got left at this point. Your last lap time was at 24.5. Inside. Thanks. Okay, hi. Ian's gonna end up passing me, I think. His way around us. Tires on exit. Killed my right front. I'm gonna fight for it. Clear. Dang it, man. Yeah, but though. G4. That lap time was 24.6. That big turn down line's working for him pretty well. That lap was at 24.7. Yeah, go ahead and hit the apron, that's a good line. I'm falling apart. I just, I was trying so many different things, just trying to get some to work, because the fact is, I'm just not as good at, at, as uh, Tracy and Mitch on the short tracks. So I was just desperately trying things when I probably should have just been focusing on being smooth and Where are you gonna want me here? I think I hurt my tires pretty bad. I just wherever. I'll say hi. Thank you, sir. The gap to club ahead is now 0.8. I'll say hi again here, but Thank you. We just gotta hope we can hold on to fourth now. Haven't done too much damage. Where are you gonna want me, Cold? Low if you don't mind. In front is now 1.0. It's gonna take me a minute before I can even get there though. Alright, this car is alright, I'll be low going in the first. This car is terrible. <laughs> Thanks, man. Around him. Figured a uh, low for him would probably be easier. So you can kind of get that tightness down low and you have to lift off big so you don't drift up into him sometimes. That lap was a 24.9. Man, I the car feels terrible now. 
Definitely should have been easier on it. There's a smoke back there. Just gotta get it to the end at this point and take a top five if I can still get it. Very happy with that. I gotta make sure that 77 doesn't pass me. I wanna have a good points day relative to what he's doing. I don't think he's led any laps unless he did so. During like green flag pit stops or something. So we might have bonus points on him. Still, want to pad the championship point lead out a little bit if I can. Let's do that. I'm going to need to finish ahead of him, generally. I think he's coming up fast, so... That might not be too easy. Man, we've fallen off so bad, though. I'm just driving terribly. Wonder if we'll get any more cautions. We've had a handful of them this race. Still time, I guess. Wouldn't really want that to happen, but it would be something to think about. It's a potential. Are you gonna want me right? Fresh tires coming out, interestingly. You've just done a 24.9. It's difficult to describe how badly this car feels right now. Uh, go low, I think. The car inside. Stay high with the car on the low side. Still inside. Clear. That was a... 24.9. The gap to Lemons behind is now 1.2. Pick up the pace. He's catching me back there. I think I'd really got to work on keeping my composure late in a race. Last time at Dover, I felt like I fell apart during the last run as well. I think I, my heart rate just gets going and I start driving too erratically and I gotta just take a deep breath. Not do anything too crazy, don't panic. Hit my marks. I think I'd be better off. Just trying to keep it together here. We got a lap car at the wall a couple of places uh, ahead of us. Well, on entry there. Lost it on entry. I am falling apart, man. 
Probably does not feel good. Now stay up high, buddy. Bitch. Must. Clear up, Tom. It's actually pretty good. Low side three and four. Kind of makes it not so good by the time we get to the end of the straight, but it wasn't too far off. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. I'm kind of holding it one yeah. second. So, behind. Outside. Not expect to get to his inside there. Get me off a bit. Oh no! Oh no! That sucks. Where was he running? He got up down. Third. That sucks. Yeah, he was on third. We almost on. That's so not fair. I hate that for him. That sucks so bad. I knew he was quick. He was up there leading for a while. Ian has an engine failure right in front of us. Well, that was at 24.8. That is terrible. It helps us get a potential P3 now, but I don't want it that way. I'm so mad for him. That sucks so bad. Coming up on 10 laps to go. All that work. It was hard work. He was running so well. He was even catching those guys, I think. It's about the worst situation you could possibly have a disconnect. Other than leading and running away with it, probably. If we hit our marks, we might be able to keep it in front of Gavin. We have to drive well. Racy's only point four back from Mitch up there, and Mitch was driving harder earlier in the run. It would be interesting to see if he could catch him. And you know, if something goes wrong, I'm in third place. <laughs> But barely. I am hanging on by a thread. This car feels so bad. I did terrible things to the tires early in this run. B3, the gap to Lemons behind is now 1.0 seconds. 0.4 up there, point three. Your lap time they might have themselves a very eight. interesting finish brewing up. If they could bounce it off the wall a couple times, and I still wouldn't catch them probably. Time was 24.9. Coming to five to go. Gavin's still holding steady back there about one second. If I can keep it out of the wall, I think I'll be okay. Five left to go. That last lap was at keep it up. We're in a great spot. Keep it up. We're in a great spot. Third is a great spot. Thank you, crew chief. I agree.
Can't feel too bad about losing to two of the better short track drivers out there on a short track. Don't worry about me, John. I'm not going to press it. I appreciate it, John. Is that gap looking like still about four tenths? It's all right with the middle. Two left to go. Two to go. Clear outside. Just got to bring it home for a P3. I could definitely see a slide job happening. I go for the win if they're close enough. What flag did not? Not close enough to really get a good view of it. I think Tracy's just a little too far back though. He might try something crazy, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, Colton, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. That lap was at 24.9. Not quite. Looks like Mitch is gonna get the win. I believe that's two weeks in a row now. Good race, guys. Yeah, good race, everybody. Tracy's second, I will get third. Great, great race. Good win. That last run was some of the most intense great racing I've had in this car. That was awesome. Jeez, oh, my hand hurts. It's scary seeing you and Nick racing each other. Solid work. Oh, that was crazy. I can't believe how close we came to hitting, like, every lap. That was hilarious. All right. Yeah, Gavin, yeah, that was some awesome racing, man. We shall park it. Oh, yeah, great stuff. That was so much fun. Good job. Good race, that was fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, All right, that was a good race. Kind of myself, and, and 61 you, and 69. See if I can beat you back. Into that last run. Yeah, I was loose coming. Yeah, it was fun racing. I was kind of loose stuff, but fun racing. Not 59, 69. That group from like 12th to 9th, that was. I'm sweating a lot. Okay, Same. so can't feel bad about a podium. Very happy. Really Mitch he gets the win, but we don't get to, I was to turn the wheel. gain too much on Gavin if he's going to finish right behind us. Yeah, I'm we'll take a look at the point sweat. standings in a bit. First, what we're going to do, we scroll through your results here. Everybody. 33 car field, though 32, I think. I don't think Nick actually Power showed up. Top race. And we'll check the incidents. If it loads, it doesn't crash. Okay, we're good. Good when you back. Hopefully we don't get too many wall hits and such. We can just skip through it as normal. First wall hit from Ronald on lap 12. Not much going on there. Some wall. Man, reminded that Ian lost connection. Ooh, he nearly wrecked it there. That was a good save. Chad in a little bit hot. Wall right there. Nick King. Oh, no. Fish tails it. Sort of. Into the wall. Goes down into the pits, looks like. Probably some pretty big damage on the right side of that one. I think some tires are getting worn as we're getting closer to the pit stop time. Skip ahead until we see something. I think this might have been the caution. Yeah. 32 just too far off the wall. Looks like he's running the high line and then he kind of cuts down into the middle lane a little bit. 
and then instead of drifting up toward the wall you can see there's about one and a half maybe two car widths to the wall and he kind of just almost maybe gets loose and comes all the way down get John down there other John and that was the caution kind of put us in a bad spot but uh, it was my call to pit when I did so can't blame anyone but myself and my strategy he gets it going safely oh okay so this was like the simultaneous spin I think both guys here spun so Frank gets sideways but so does Christopher here and uh, unfortunately he was just sideways enough just enough that it called the caution on him which unfortunately it shouldn't have been and uh, he penalizes himself rough race it happens to all of us hope he doesn't feel too bad about it he calls it a day obviously it's uh, easy to do because the guy in front of him did the same exact thing 12 loose, and then there's another caution right there. That's a pretty good save as well. Does a little pirouette and keeps on going. But, uh, got that, like, Kenny Schrader scheme right there. That's who I remember being in that one, in that car. Just, uh, getting him as he gets loose. And under caution, not sure why we're seeing that. That. Oh, Jake gets the back of Chuck. That's Jake, right? Yes. Ryan McClellan. How did he do? Assuming this was his first race. Pretty darn good, it looks like. P11 from 28th? That's a great run. Good on him. Just want to take a look since that seemed to imply that uh, this was his first time here. Yeah, Jake just gets in the back of Chuck there, looks like. Going through the corner much faster. And just runs him over. Doesn't lift for him. Chuck was having a bit of a slower exit, maybe. Was he maybe on older tires at this point in the race? I know we had some weird flip-floppy tire situations going on, but I think that could have been avoided. And, uh... Thankfully, Chuck was avoided. No one else ran into him. And then what happened here? <laughs> yeah, this is what happened. Okay, so I guess maybe uh, they were catching up to the pace truck. Maybe got there a little sooner than expected. He <laughs> just caught him. Thankfully, it let him get back to where he was. And, uh... Well, it didn't affect him, I don't think, because he got all back, all the way back to third before the internet ran into the back of him and spun him out. So we're back going again here under green conditions. Oh wow, big loose, just drifting all the way through the corner. Finally gets sent around. That time it was Dakota and the low lane. There's nothing he can do about that, though. All of a sudden, the guy's drifting in front of him. Thankfully, no big contact, I don't think. I think everybody was okay there. Oh, and then here's what we had happen. I could have lifted more, I feel like. Because uh, we got the car inside call, which presumably gives him the car outside call. And so I'm thinking, all right, we're on the outside. We can gun it. So I assume he's going to give me the lane. And then he didn't. And it was too late for me. You can see as soon as he is in front of me here, I'm like, oh, shoot, he's going to be in this lane, isn't he? Because I, I thought we were going to have the lane. So I'm like, all right, let's go. We got the outside. All right, awesome. We might be able to get around him. Uh-oh, he's in my lane. And then, like, I try to react as soon as possible. You can see I'm already halfway off the throttle. On the brake, 
I'm on the break, haven't turned him yet, but it just wasn't enough, unfortunately. Man, and it's just the slightest tap sends this car around. I would have been just fine giving him a, a little bump draft, you know, in any other car that doesn't spin immediately with the shovel nose. I might have been a little annoyed if with the uh, little slide up in front of me, but I mean, it, I still would have preferred that over spinning him, so that really sucks. He recovered well, though, right? Yeah, he got the top five. I just, I wish that hadn't happened. Apologies again to him for my part in that, not being able to avoid that. Uh, all right, I know, I know I'm going over it over and over again. What's it look like from the Goodyear blimp? Yeah, like that. Sucks, I wish that didn't happen. So that brings out another caution. Here we are, lap 156. Hitch gets the wall a little bit. Didn't hurt him long run. So he ends up with the win. Moving along until we see uh, something that's not wall hits. That's a really big wall hit, though, for Chad. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's... He might take himself out with that one. No, he gets he gets to keep going and finish on the lead lap, but that was not good for the old Napa Auto Parts Chevy. And uh, that's the end of the race. We're just seeing Jake afterward rolling around. So we will get a P3. Unfortunately, that contact with John happened, but um, he's able to recover, thankfully. I think it's uh, everything all kind of worked out. So we will go ahead and move on to this here screen. All right, we've got the league standings. We still have to refresh. And uh, we, shall, we should still be in the lead, I believe. And here we are. That should show up, yes. All right, so Tracy has moved his way into third. After he uh, gets a P2, Mitch has missed a couple races, so even with his three wins, he's down in P7. We still have the lead. We gain a little bit on Gavin, but not too much because he finished right behind us. And I know I did this out of order, but we'll look at the race results and see where our points came from. We got uh, fastest lap. Awesome. That gave us some bonus points. Cool to be able to get that and then of course led some laps gavin did not lead any laps so he didn't get the bonus points there which helps us out in the standings so you can see we gained 10 points on him overall and uh we got tracy back there he'll gain five on us but still over 100 back for him and that will do it for this one I'll go ahead and scroll through this a little bit so you can see where some other guys are. Some fast guys like JP back here that uh, haven't made all the races. Dylan as well is very fast. Man, lots of people have participated in this uh, series. I didn't realize how many there were. That's really cool. Almost 100. So that will do it for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I always enjoy the Diet Dr. Pepper series. Had fun in this one. Tough race, long race it felt like, but we get a P3. And uh, keep the points lead for now. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.